All right. Well, Deepa, thank you so much for uh, kind words. Good morning, everyone. Week on, how are you all doing? It's just amazing. I, it, it is six o'clock for me in the morning here right now. And um, I know all of you are in all different time zones. I haven't slept at all. I have been glued to my TV screen watching these amazing stories of various people you know, since yesterday, uh, Srishti, Soma, and then, um, you know, today, Sabine, you know, all those stories have really mesmerized me. You know, it, it has given me so much of energy and so much more meaning in what we do every day. So I hope that um, each of you watching this week on so far have been touched, moved, inspired, motivated by these stories of common, normal people, just like you and me, who have achieved tremendous success through this beautiful vehicle that Dato Sri Vijay and Japadas Bismarck have created uh, 23 years ago. So everyone that you would hear from at this week on, we are all just products of this amazing opportunity that uh, these two great men created 23 years ago. And every story that you would hear, you can find that it's just normal people. People who grew up, who were born into normal circumstances, some even pretty bad circumstances, just like you and me. So, you know, when I heard this, um, when I listened to this during my very first week on, what it really gave me was this hope that it is possible that it is possible for me. I, I got a lot of knowledge, clicks, and motivation and all that stuff, but what I really remember, that feeling from my very first week on, was that, yes, this is possible. This is possible for me. This is easy. This is not tough. It's, it's possible. I can make it. And when that belief really sunk in into my heart. I was perpetually smiling, you know, because I knew that my future is going to be bright. It is going to be great. So I hope that each one of you would carry back some kind of a belief from this week on. Okay. It's not just about the notes you take, about the learnings and all that stuff. But it's about the decisions, about those beliefs that you internalize during these three days. See, events like Vcon, they are very transformative, mainly because of these decisions and these beliefs that we take and we allow to sink into our hearts during these three days. So make sure that you take your decisions, like we partner Kavita mentioned, the decisions, that is the key. Don't wait for after we can to take decisions. This is the time to make those decisions, all right? And uh, maybe when you're listening to these stories from um, various people about, especially the success stories, some of you might be thinking, oh my God, I wish it was me. I wish I had that kind of success. So to all of you who wish that way, let me tell you, stop wishing. Don't wish, don't hope anymore. This is it. This is the answer to all your prayers that you had and your parents had. This is it. There's nothing else. Nowhere else to go. 
Your prayers have been answered. You have been given the golden ticket. You have been given the opportunity of a lifetime. So now stay here and hoist your flag. Make your mark felt in this company with the we. There's no more to hope for. All your hopes, this is it. So if they have achieved it, you will achieve it too. Now, all that is left for you to do is to keep moving forward. Put that one leg in front of the other and then in front of the other and just keep moving forward. Now, I'm sure all of you would have been, you know, extremely motivated, inspired, listening to various people. But let me tell you one thing. If you have not already realized it, let me tell you, there will be moments when you feel demotivated. Now, I'm sure many of you would have already felt this many times in the past. But attending week on is not a guarantee that you will feel motivated and inspired for the rest of your life. Motiv um, feeling rejected, um, not getting the success that you really hope you will get when you spoke to that particular prospect or when you signed up that high potential prospect. Remember, every a uh, person is a high potential prospect. This person will come in and then they will just take off uh, my network and I'll be financially free. And they come in and after a week or two, they don't even return your phone calls. Things like that do happen. Okay. Those are real. Now, demotivation or feeling down is a very real thing. And that happens to everyone. And that happens to even the very successful people. So there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, there's the, it, just because you're feeling demotivated or feeling down, um, you know, in your journey does not make you a bad person. It doesn't make you. Uh, it's not a wrong feeling. In fact, a lot of successful people do feel. That way, majority of the time. So what is wrong is actually waiting for you to feel motivated to actually get up and do something. Now, that is wrong. See, you know what needs to be done. There's no secrets in this business. You know, the failures you will have in this business is not because of not knowing what to do. The failures you will have in this business is because of not doing what you know should be done. So there are no secrets. It's a very simple business. All right. Um, Evgeny came up and he told you about what needs to be done. And so does everybody else. All right. There are only a few steps to do. But when we execute these steps, what happens is we feel Rejected, there will be rejection, there will be negativity, there will be, you know, this newspaper, various things come up. And because of that, we might feel down, we might feel demotivated. And let me tell you, that's perfectly normal. It does not make you wrong or bad in any way. It does not mean you'll never be successful. Let me repeat, all the successful ones have had more down days than up days. They have more days when they were demotivated and felt rejected than the days that you see them up on stage right now. So what is the difference? See, the difference between all these people who came up and spoke to you, all right, Surinder, Yuli, all of them, if you have listened to the stories very well, the thing that is different in them and everybody else who did not become successful is that they did not wait around for the problem to go away. They did not wait around for the motivation to come back. 
They did not wait around for somebody to come and, and pull them up or, uh, you know, pump in the motivation into them. That feeling, they separated what need to be done and how they felt. I feel high sometimes, I feel low sometimes, and that has got nothing to do with what my responsibilities are towards my dream. I have a responsibility towards my dream. I need to do this. I need to do these activities. I need to go for this training. I need to do these many uh, presentations. I need to do these many follow-ups. I need to do these many meetings. Those are my responsibilities towards my dream. I hope you all found your dream in our chief session. And we have responsibilities towards making that dream come true. It's our job. And we have given that job. The dream is unique to us. So in that path towards achieving that dream, there will be ups and downs. You know, we will feel high, we will feel low. And like I said, maybe the low days are more than the high days. But we cannot wait around. Every time we feel down, we cannot wait around to feel motivated back again. We will lose time, we will lose momentum. And that is the mistake that everyone who have failed in this business have committed. I don't want you to make that mistake. So how you feel is completely different. You feel great, that is a bonus. You don't feel great, who cares? Let's go ahead and keep doing what we need to do. You need to learn to push yourself. See, you have made the decision. You have made the decision. You found your dream. You made the decision to go for it. Fantastic. You got to push yourself to do the things that need to be done every single day. See, this ability to push yourself, that is a unique quality that all the winners share. It doesn't matter whether they are winning in sports or music or movies or business, but they have become masters in this ability to push themselves every day. Now, yes, you will have great uplines who will try and push you and try and motivate you and all that stuff, but don't give away that responsibility that is yours. The responsibility to push yourself every day to do what needs to be done. Now, let me repeat what I told you earlier, in case you didn't catch it. The reason for failure for people in this business is not lack of knowledge. It is not something that they did not know how to do that made them fail in this business, but it is the inability to do the things that they know should be done. That is the reason for failure. So I want you to make the decision that promise to yourself that no matter what, what I decide need to be done, I will do every day. Now, whether I feel great, whether I feel down, I will do it every day. Along the way, you will face rejections, you will face hardship, you will face uh, people making fun of you. All that will happen. Now, I have a name for all those things, you know, the rejections and, um, you know, the sufferings and pains and delay in your success and all that stuff. Um, I have a name and I call it paying the price. See, your dream has a price. All right. Like any valuable thing, there's a price. You want to buy a Ferrari? Okay. This is what it costs. You want to fly first class? This is what it costs. You want to have your dream house? This is what it costs. You want to have time freedom, which is the ultimate um, you know, dream to do whatever you want to do and have the time and the money and the resources to do that. That's the ultimate freedom. That has a price. So when you want to buy something, let us say, you know, iPhone 13 came out just now and you want to buy it. And let's say it's $1,000. So you go to the shop and you want iPhone 13. What do you do? You pay the money, you buy the phone. That's it. You pay the price, you get the reward. Now, you can do whatever else you want to do other than paying the price, but you are not going to get the reward. 
you can tell the shopkeeper you know i don't have the money i don't want i have the money i don't want to give it to you can i dance can i sing a song um you know can i entertain you something some other way i can do some drama on the street it is not going to get you the phone you are just wasting your time your dreams have a price and this is the price to pay for your dreams your heart aches your rejections people making fun of you negativity all this is a price for your dream and all of us have the ability to pay that price see it is not the money you cannot buy your dream with the money yes you do the business you will get the money and with that money you can buy it. but that process of becoming successful in the business you cannot buy it with money you got to pay the price in a different way so why you are doing the business the biggest challenge that most people face the challenge that they feel powerless against is this constant attack from dream stealers from negative people you know people who would say oh you cannot do it you know this cannot be done now see the negative people and dream stealers they have they have many different strategies to to pull you down okay um some of them will try and attack your ability to succeed okay they say no i mean they can become successful but not you look at you you don't have the education you are just a woman you're just a kid you're old man you cannot do this you know it's is yeah they it's possible for them but you i mean have you ever done any business before look at you you think you can be a millionaire so you know i don't want you to have heartache so um you know so just give up it's not possible for you i get that one strategy that a lot of them play and why do they do it because they they feel jealous they feel insecure they feel afraid that you are going for your dreams and and god forbid if you achieve your goals and if you achieve your dream how would that make them feel you know they have been telling the story throughout their life saying that oh i cannot become successful because of this because of that and all the stuff and they're feeling happy because they have that reason and now you come from that same background rise above the circumstances and become successful they feel like shit and they want to protect that feeling of of you know feeling that right is by pulling you down all right now some other people might attack the opportunity okay and then some other people might attack the company so these dream stealers and these negative people have all these different strategies to pull you down you got to be very smart to identify what strategy they are using against me all right so but the the most powerful one i have yet seen is this weapon that these dream stealers use called shame all right they they show these articles they show these videos they show these people who are you know acting like they are victims and somehow these negative people make you feel as though you are responsible for it they want to make you feel ashamed of what you're doing and that is the most powerful weapon that they have and you if you fall for it it's very tough to come up okay if you fall for it it will it will kill your spirit all right you will feel as though oh you know i i don't want you know i i don't want to be like that i don't want to do this i it's a innocent person you know i you would they if they are successful they will actually make you feel as though you are responsible for the problems of every quitter out there you got to be smart so you know over these years i have had people come up to me and show me articles and videos even just a few days ago you know somebody sent me some videos and newspaper articles from um you know from my place and uh, 
And what they're trying to do is they're trying to make me feel responsible and feel ashamed of what I'm doing. So am I ashamed? Absolutely not. I was not ashamed in the beginning. I'm not ashamed now. All right. When people tried to do this during my first year, during my second year, I did not fall for it because I knew the heart of the company. I knew Dato Sri Vijay and Japanese Bismarck. I had attended their trainings. I had heard, heard them speak. And I know that how pure their intentions are, how much they believe in rhythm and how much they believe in this business being a tool to help people out of poverty. So I did not fall for it at that time. And now, definitely not. I mean, I ashamed is a different thing. I actually feel proud that I am a part of QNET and I'm part of WE. I'm actually proud of it. And I tell people wherever I can. Some people cringe because I say so. Some people feel great. That's up to them. I don't care. All right. There's absolutely nothing that can make me ashamed of what I'm doing right now. So now let, let me show, let me tell you something. Have you, um, now when I'm saying this, okay, you might feel as though, oh, oh you know, Arun has such a thick skin. Um, I don't have such thick skin. Now this is, let me tell you, this is not about thick skin. Okay, this is not about thick skin. This is about having a backbone to stand up for your dreams. Do you have that backbone to stand up for your dreams? See, what do you do then when these people come up and do this? You know, this try, this is all different tactics. What do you do? The most effective way is just to ignore. That's it. Just ignore. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Oh, you want me to be a coward and run away from it? No, I'm not telling you to be a coward. Fight. Yes, you fight. But you fight your battle. Not the battle others choose for you. See, have you seen bullfight? Like the guy waving the red cloth in front of a bull and the bull gets agitated, comes charging forward and the guy, you know, uh, steps aside and the bull goes away. Bull gets frustrated and then... Uh, the bullfighter pokes with the sword, gets the bull again agitated. That's what is happening to you with all, with all these people trying to do to you. What do you do? Stop being the bull. Stop being the bull. Choose who you are and stand up for that. Pick your fight. You know, the purpose they put the bullfight on is to entertain people. Stop being a part of others' entertainment. You don't have to go and fight every fight others throw in front of you. You have to fight. There is no way of not fighting. You have to fight. But you pick the fight that you want to fight on. Your fight is for your dreams. Don't get distracted from that. That is what you have to fight for every day. See, life is one fight after another. There's no way of escaping this fight. Like paying the price. This fight is a price you got to pay. And there is no way you can escape it. You know, if you don't pay the price for success now, then later for the rest of your life, you will pay the price for failure. So paying the price or fighting is unavoidable. You have to do it. You just have to decide for what you're fighting for. Are you fighting for success or are you fighting to justify your failure? You see, the fight for success might be hard in the beginning, but eventually you get good at it. So, Life is one fight after the other. Now, how long do you fight? How long do you keep fighting? The answer is very simple. Until you win. We don't stop. We don't rest. 
we don't quit until we win see now i know that some of you are going through really tough times okay some of you um are fighting the biggest battle of your life right now some of you are going through so much um you know uh, ridicule and and negativity i know and you may feel as though you're all alone you may feel as though there is no point in this fight you may actually even feel like you've lost it already all right now let me tell you something very important you have not lost it okay and the reason is the fight is not over yet you are still in the fight and it is not over until you win so you have lost nothing you are still in the fight when does this fight end when you win and you are not alone never for even a second think that you are alone you have datto sri you have japa you have the v partners you have the isb brotherhood and sisterhood they're all with you and you should see how they fight for their loved ones which is you they will go in and fight with anything and anyone to protect your dreams but each of us we also have our own battle we have our own fights and you got to decide today whether whether you will stay down when you get knocked when you get knocked by dejections and hardships and challenges and negativity and lack of support when you get punched in the face and when you fall down you have this decision to make are you going to stay down is this the end is this the end of your story or you are not going to stay down that you are going to get back up you are going to tell yourself that this is not the end and this is not how my story ends i am not going to die here poor and broke you got to make that decision every day when you get punched by this negativity and hardships and challenges so you may feel like you are not getting the results okay sometimes yes the results may take a while not everybody gets the results at the same time so sometimes the results make it delay but don't give up the fight okay if you are not giving up the fight let me tell you you are already getting the result the fighting spirit that you are growing within you that unstoppable mindset that you are growing within you that laser focus that you are sharpening every day by not giving up that itself is part of the reward and when you are developing that the financial rewards will follow there's no doubt about it and sometimes these financial rewards are delayed just so that you can make that fighting spirit inside of you a little bit more stronger because you need that strong spirit for the next stage of your journey for that next dream that you have for the next phase of your success you need that fighting spirit and so sometimes god just delays it so that you can work on that fighting spirit and make it stronger so that nothing can pull you down don't hate the process this is the process the rewards will come fall in love with the process fall in love with paying the price fall in love with the fight that you are able to put up there are millions of people who don't even have a chance to fight they don't even get the opportunity to fight now where does the power to fight come from see the biggest source of power is love what you love should become your dream and i hope you already found it in chief session i hope that you already fallen in love with your dream and love gives you the power to fight any battle 
Now, some of you might be thinking, yeah, but love is that soft, mushy feeling. Uh, you know, that's not strong. You think it is not strong? Try fighting against a mama bear protecting its cubs. It will tear you apart. And what makes it do it? Love towards the cubs. And, and for that matter, even the weakest of the animals become a ferocious fighter when they're protecting their loved ones. So dig deep and find what you love in your life. And when you fight for it, you will achieve your goal. You got to make the decision to fight for it till you die. And then let's join together and let's fight for our dreams, what we believe in, our goals, our mission. See, this is much bigger than us. This is much bigger than you or me. We are building, we are creating a huge movement that can erase poverty from this world. It gives people like you and me, just normal people, not just ability to achieve our goals and have a great life, but also the power, the tool, the knowledge, everything to reach out to our brothers, our sisters, and help them achieve the same. This kind of opportunity does not exist anywhere else. This is unmatched. But you got to make the decision to pay the price every day, to push yourself, to fight the battle. And you are not alone. We are with you. This is the fight that we are in together till we die. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you all sitting down and, 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 and just relaxing? Or I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up and repeat after me. Okay? Are you ready? All right, here we go. This is my battle. This is my fight. This is my battle. This is my fight. I will fight my battles. I will fight my battles every day. I love you all. I will pray for you to get more and more love sent to your heart so that you can be the role model for people who are at the edge of giving up. And they look at you and they get that encouragement on the verge of giving up and they look at you and because of the way you are holding on to your dreams and fighting for it, they also get courage to fight for their dreams. I let you go with this video, with a song. Enjoy the song. And I will pray for you every day. God bless. Love you all.